I'm not having them speak to me like that. I, I was contracted for 24 episodes. This is number 25. Harvey, Harvey, you're here now, so just shut up. Just smile and just fucking get on with it. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Lack of Focus podcast with me, Matt Bentley, and with me today, as usual, is Harvey Quinn. Harvey. Welcome back. Welcome back to you as well, Harvey. Um, got a packed show for you today. Uh, as we promised last week, um, it's it's the it's the history episode. It's the oh, yeah. the third in the trilogy, third and final. Unfortunately, um, unless they're going to do us dirty, like they did to uh, to Jack Black recently, and roll us out for a Kung Fu Panda four in about fifteen years. I mean, honestly, I won't do it. Just bewildered, poor chap. My limit's three. Doesn't know where he is at this point. Um, but mustn't dwell. Uh, we'll crack on with with uh, with the um, with the third installment. Yeah, um, Harvey. D- dare dare I ask? Yeah, go on. But uh, what what have you brought to the uh, to the table? Only week? the greatest guest that we've ever had. Go on. on the show. He's back. They're back. She's back. I don't know the gender of do history. Be, do, do be careful. But with... um, I'm not going to misgender history. Can't do it. Can but you? Um, there is an agenda. So do yeah. no get an agenda. <laughs> do no get an agenda uh, for. History. History. Um, oh, uh, also, just for the keen eyed among you, you should be watching. I'm wearing a full on fucking suit today. Yeah. Yeah. Because, and also, we didn't talk about this because of the first episode. Remember, you wore I did, yeah, a tweed, suit, I tweed know. thing, and then I, and I, I disregarded you. And this, the middle yeah. week, we both did nothing. We, <laughs> yeah. And then for this one, I've went for sort of bookended it a little bit, which is quite, quite that's nice. quite smart. It's quite nice. And it keeps it varied. It keeps people guessing. Always keep them on their toes. Do keep tuning in visually. Visually, yeah, and you must be watching, and we've discussed this many, many times. Just a bit of housekeeping for everyone involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And you are involved now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. dial in because there will be a test at the end. Um, lack of focus podcast. For anyone new, uh, we don't normally have any sort of focus. The clue is in the title. It's a podcast sort of, but it isn't. It's a show, mm. and it is a show, mm. and, it, and it is a show. Um, but we sort of go on a, on a whim um, and today's whim is history. Don't know how much we're going to stick with it. Yeah. We will try. Yeah. Um, so on that note, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, please. Yeah. I hate saying it. I hate saying it. I didn't even want to be I here. tell you, Mark, you can't hate saying it more than I hate hearing it. I know. So um, It's my least favourite part of the whole week. <laughs> um, so before we get into the thick of it. Yeah. How's your week? My week was my week was fine. Uh, it was good to be back last week. Uh, yeah. Good to get all the um, all the DMs. Everyone saying, "Oh, you're back. We've missed you. You are the best. You're the main ones." And you've we've always said that. Where have you been for the last three weeks? So that was nice to get that um, that sort of recognition back. Yeah. Uh, the clocks changed. That was fucking huge for me. Um, my, we lost an hour though. I don't care. I hated that. How was that? But how was it an advantage having? In the winter, everyone goes, "Oh, gained an hour of sleep." Yes, but you're plummeted into darkness for eight months. This way, you lose an hour of sleep, right? To be honest with you, you should be up anyway. Yeah. Get up and go. And um, like what? And then you get the sunlight, which is just a thousand times better. It Although is I have noticed, just just with Harvey here, day, it, day like when it's warm, it was not warm today, but when it is starting to get warm, yeah. about seven o'clock in the evening, eight o'clock in the evening, yeah. if you live in London, yeah. that's when you've got to be really careful. Because that's when... Have your head in a swivel. All of just the most rago people come out <laughs> they're all out and about looking to do you harm basically yeah. they are looking to do you dress harm. like that look me wearing a suit i haven't helped myself today rolling through fucking hackney central on a vespa it, it's not it's, it wasn't a smart i've lived I, i've lived in london for 32 years it wasn't <laughs> the smartest move on my behalf but i've had a busy day and i put this suit on at you know six o'clock in the morning <laughs> so <laughs> yeah i'm wearing all day i've been out and about yeah but do stuff and it, it worked for the rest of that it worked fucking perfectly for the rest of my day. Oh, shock car. It's only when I got to Hackney that it started going south. True. Shock. Yeah. Well, look. I really like doing the podcast. Today, Welcome. As in with these guys, with this studio. But it is it is true. At some points, mate, it is terrifying. Around Producers here. looked at us when we walked in. And they were like, <laughs> like, are you all what? right? Are you what? feeling okay? So not at all, mate. Yeah, because this is the, that's risky. Yeah. Um, Do you want to start with the history or shall I start with the history? Well... You start with the history, yeah, and I sort of plug in. Well, I'm, sure, I'm sure it'll be very helpful with, with my facts, and they will be facts, probably. and they will be facts, uh, and then I'll go on to my bit, and then you plug in with your facts, okay. and um, okay, and you'll be look just for the for the people watching, listening, prepare to be um to be educated. Um, as I said, there will be a test. 
Um, we're going to be, we're going to be, are you done? Oh yeah, I'm done. Good stuff. We're going to be talking today. I'm going to be talking. Harvey's going to be chiming in with, um, you know, apparently facts about the tube. About the London Underground, um, because it is fucking amazing, and it doesn't get the um, right. You get that down. History three. Rise of the machines. Meh. Rise of the uh, right sort of machines, aren't they? Yeah. Right. Go on. Get that down. Please, and then make sure this is another and thing. And then head subheading. When we um, first brought the whiteboard to this podcast, it was to really like make sure people watched. Now we don't care as much people watch, yeah. but um, because the numbers are doing so well, we're not watching. Who knew? But it is still good to have the whiteboard. And Harvey finally got pens that work. So that's really good. Tube, he's written there. Great. Uh, obviously, that's just the nickname. The real name for it is the London Underground. Yep. It, Harvey, do you know how fucking goddamn old the Tube is? I believe in this the be good. first station was Baker Street. No, okay. So, okay. <laughs> and it was in 18 something. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's the tenth of January, eighteen sixty-three. Now, to put that in a bit of context for you, eighteen sixty-three. Here, right, write that yeah. down. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln is alive and well. well he is uh, honestly Abraham fucking Lincoln is just knocking around the U.S. trying to start a war and get slavery demolished. That is how fucking goddamn old the London Underground is. So, just let just, that's a Henry Ford. The geezer who made Ford fo- Ford Focuses. He did make Ford Focuses. Did he? Ford cars. He was born in nine, in 1863. Okay? Okay. What, what earth are you drawing? I'm drawing Abraham. Well, I'm trying to draw Abraham. Trying Lincoln. to draw Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. Looking, yeah. Doesn't really look like him, but look, you can, look. Put that, no, put, show them. That's not, that's that's not right. bad. I mean, that's Abe Lincoln. That's clearly Abe Lincoln. And you, you know what's so good about that, that illustration, Harvey? I was just going to say you've done it without the top hat. Now you've ruined it because the top hat gives it away. The top hat does give it away. Do you know yeah, I mean, yeah, try yeah. draw Harry Potter without the scar and the glasses. He's just a guy. Just a dude, yeah. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, it's, it's really old. Gangs of, Lon- Gangs of New York. Gangs of London is a terrible show. I shouldn't have brought that it's up. Terrible, yeah. Gangs of New York um, is set in 1863. So just to put it, this is really old. This is really, 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 we're going all the way back here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they started with the Metropolitan Line. Um, the Met Line. The Met Line is the oldest, and that was opened on the 10th of January with a cut and cover technique. Do you know what that is? No, tell me Cut and cover is literally just the most like Lego version of doing anything. I can't believe this is how they did it for like 100 years. They literally just, where the road is, yeah, <laughs> cut open the road, stuck tracks down, and covered it back over with the road. What? Cut and cover. Wait. And so the tubes all followed the roads above. So it was literally just like an underground. What's the point of that? It is ridiculous. <laughs> it meant you'd have to stop at traffic lights and haul on carriages and all the rest of it. Like it was, it did make sense. But like the cut and cover was just a very, very, because that's close all the roads to do it. So just like cut up in the road, train track down, through. Now it gets, it gets more stupid. It gets more ridiculous. And it's okay. Like, this is like the idea of like, just because you can do something really doesn't mean that you should do that thing. Because... <laughs> right. Uh, how 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 were how were trains powered in uh, in 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 the nineteenth century in in eighteen sixty three how 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 did the trains go? Well, steam locomotive. That's it, mate. Thing. Coal. Now, yeah. Don't. I'm not a scientist, and nor am I a doctor. May I shock you to your core? Don't put a steam train under fucking ground, mate. That isn't going to work very well. But but fuck my ass. They did it. They did. Wait, I mean, for almost a hundred years, they just put steam trains underground. Now, the first trip was from Paddington to Farringdon, right? The first day, the yeah. first day of the underground on, on 10th of January. Guess how many people used that service on that first day? Can I hazard a guess? Please, go no, do I, guess. I yeah. would say yeah, about yeah. 10. Okay. 38,000 people on the first day. Were there that many people in London? Yeah, bruv. Yeah, there were. And everyone was I very, very happy. Been killed off everyone, by the look, plague. Rave, rave reviews. Everyone was mad about it. But passengers, this is a fact, passengers were collapsing due to heat and pollution and the Metropolitan <laughs> Line. Right. They encouraged their staff to grow beards to act as a filtration system. That doesn't work because it doesn't even cover your it mouth, doesn't cover does your it? cover your fucking mouth. What are you playing at? Unless Genuinely, they were literally like... One of the stupidest fucking things I've ever heard in my life. Anyway, in 1906, uh, electric trains kick in. Um, and by this point, all, all the all the, the the lines are pretty much built. So like everything's built. The most recent line to be built was the Jubilee line. Other than obviously the 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 Elizabeth the, line, the, the Lizzie line, which is yeah. obviously brand new, and that doesn't really count because that goes all the way to Essex. 
It goes to uh, I to, I to can't. I don't mind. The, I don't, Windsor as well. Windsor's fine. That's where the rules are. Yeah. <laughs> Essex. Oh, it goes I to just, Reading. It goes to Reading. It goes beyond Windsor. Got my first tattoo in Reading, so in a way, Reading's actually okay as well. What's wrong with Essex? Yeah. Where do I even begin? Should we? Do we go? Do we unpack that now? We could unpack that now. Just quickly. I don't mind Essex as a place. I think it's from you know. I you know. I think it's 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 fine. It's nice whatever. Home county. What I don't like is just obviously the most of the pe- people who just like oh what's your what's your personality um Essex that's my that's what that's all I am fuck off it gets a bad rap Essex no, it, because of the oh uh, Essex gets a bad rap because of because those of, because of those people because of the teeth the, the t- bright white teeth bright white teeth the your, your 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 least fucking white Range Rover you're uh, just they're just terrible people uh, like also when did you like everyone being like oh yeah I'm, I'm a geezer well you 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 shut up shut up I'm a geezer. Or just like, I'm a cockney, but you're not. They're not, no. Unless you were born within hearing distance of the Bow Bells, then you're, you're not a cockney. Like, and they all have Tom Hardy posters on the Just fuck off. <laughs> Honestly, fuck off. So look, um, history, it's not episode all of them. three. It's not all of them, but it's, it's just... It's just yeah, the, the, so far. The big, the big, the loudest few are ruining it for the rest, in my opinion. That's just, so what? I've no, got... Hang on, let me just... I'll tube. write this down. Tube, 1863. Slack off a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to write... Um, ten thousand. How many? How many was it? Thirty-eight thousand. Thirty-eight thousand. Thirty-eight thousand. You said there was going to be tests. You're getting the test wrong. Well, because I said ten, and then I just added two, three zeros to the end. Okay. Whereas what I'm saying is, you said thirty-eight. Thirty-eight thousand trips. No, no, that's people using it. Yeah, but I'm just going to write trips. Okay. You don't, you don't need to be doing this. There's more, write, to, there's more to say still. I'm going to write Essex. Fuck off. Do you write that. That's important. Because underline that. You have to get it down. Underline that. Yeah. Um, um, in 1979, the Jubilee line arrives, and it's also the fastest ma- mass per hour. Yeah. Um, this is more just like facts. So, then the circle line, unfortunately, <laughs> stopped being a circle in, okay. in 2009. So that's the only line that's uh, depleted in numbers. The rest of them have all added numbers to them. But just... What do you mean it stopped being a circle? Well, the circle line... Do I need to explain this to you? You're a mensa. What do you mean it's stopped being a circle? You've got an a-, a higher than no, average IQ than the rest of the world. Yeah, that's true. But what- You'd never know it. <laughs> You'd, You'd never know, know it. You'd never guess. This is ridiculous. But what, no, seriously, what, what do you mean stop being a circle? circle line used yeah. to be... A complete circle. Start and finish at the same fucking stop. Right, okay. And, and, then, and then they just... They, they, and the, They've they, broken they, it they, they, they stopped doing it, basically. Um, and the cut and cover technique got sacked off pretty, like, after about 100 years. I should think so. Um, and they started doing deep line tubes. Um, do you know the, the first deep line tube was? Central I... line goes pretty fucking deep. Yeah, it does go deep. So it? if you really... I don't know if you'll get claustrophobic or anything. I don't. I got stuck on a lift the in central Manchester line goes very recently, deep, yeah. which was not fucking great. Um, so I do have a bit of a stigma attached to lifts. And Essex, apparently. Um, yeah. But when you really do think about when you're on the central line, just how low down you are, it is you a don't little like it. bit... Well... It's just a bit booky, isn't it? You're you're very, very, very low beneath the the ground with just literally tons and tons and tons of concrete on top of you. Um, <laughs> northern lines also pretty horrible. The, well, the northern line is very deep, but only in reference to how high things get. So in, it's got the longest um, tube shaft in the world because Hampstead Ponds is the highest point of London, yeah. and the northern line is very, very low down. So yeah. obviously, the higher the ground gets, the higher the tube gets. So that's why that's a very that, it gives the impression that it's a very low line. Actually, the central line is the lowest. That's why it gets the hottest. Do you know what's got the longest tube platform? No, I don't give a fuck either, Harvey, because this is my segment, and you coming up with things like that just to undermine, undermine me in front of ten thousand people every week. You know, Thirty-eight thousand. What? No, I'm not. No, I'm listeners. Our listeners, not the how many. Get away from the numbers. Get away from the thirty-eight thousand. Um, I think it's. I think. I think. I know that. Angel, has, it is Angel. Yeah, come they've got, on. They've got the longest escalator as well, which was what you were going to say. No. I've jumped in there. No, I wasn't going to say that. Oh, it's got that's, the that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, really? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Angel. Um, escalator. So that I mean, I didn't. I, I wanted to say more about the tubes. It's it's more just like that is that Let's is a bit of history, point. as you can tell. We're sort of. Um, um, can I can I level with you? I hope you've got something better. To say. I've got it's, loads. I'll, actually, I'll, yeah. Thank God. I'll level with the listener here. Um, we should, and this is a note for myself, at the end of each episode, I have to be like, and coming up next on next week, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling tomorrow. Let alone how I'm going to feel next week. So I told everyone last week, no, it's history episode. Yeah, then yeah. it came to like a day before. It was like, history episode? And I was like, I've got nothing. 
You text me saying, "Have you? Do we? Do we know?" I said, outside? "Have you got anything?" Of course not. And you said, "Yeah, we'll sort of muddle through." I goes, "No, no, Harvey, <laughs> get it together, bro." Yeah, seriously, because I knew do, the back, I knew the back of my mind, mate. I knew the back of my mind. I had nothing, <laughs> so I knew that if we both come with nothing and start, and we've got the whiteboard and everything, well, then we're going to be in real trouble. Well, look, we're going to put things down. Do put that's... things down. So what you, what you've got there is show 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 the people. So. Just to read it out for people who can't see, which is going to be fucking all of you. He's written History 3, Rise of the Machines. Yeah. He's drawn um, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham. He's written the word tube and circled it. He's put 1863 on the board. He's also moved the board a little bit for me to see. He yeah. put the number 38,000 trips, trips. Essex fuck off. And he's drawn escalator, what he w- what he thinks is an escalator, but genuinely it just looks like a worm. <laughs> I don't want to talk about worms. I- I'm actually fed up with worms at this point. I, w- I won't have I won't have it. Um... And the less said about that, the better. Yeah. I just, I'm just... No, seriously. No, um, I, know, I, know, I know. So, <coughs> what I wanted to talk about... Yeah. Um, and I'll keep it... I, I was going to go quite broad and just say um, history of Asia. Yeah, right? yeah. Quite broad, though. That's too broad. Because then you got... Isn't it one of the oldest um, sort of things ever? Yeah, it's it goes back a long way. Ever. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, the, the Chinese invented gunpowder. Gunpowder. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, was famously, them. Famously. Gunpowder has been blowing shit up for... Thousands of years. Yeah. They didn't invent mathematics, though. That was the Arabic. I uh, find the invention of mathematic, math, mathematics, easy for you to say, mathematics, very, very arrogant. It's incredibly arrogant because it's also, it's like, the fuck stop do you know? counting. How do you, what do you know? How yeah. do you, like, what are you talking about? Why? This is, I remember asking my history. Got my two math, cups. My math Have teacher you? the whole time. What are you talking about? There's Why does that equal? Who, who decides that equal? They're, well, people that are smarter than you. Do. I'm like, what? And if I had one more, there's three cups. Well, counting's well, fine, right. Harvey. I'm, well, all right, I'm all right with counting. Counting's all right. Counting, I, yeah. I, I'm I'll talk about like counting. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it does back up when you start doing trigonometry and the building doesn't fall over. It That's, does back it up. That yeah, it does, does it does back up. up. Yeah. I'm actually a bit mind it's blown. It? It's actually pretty amazing, actually. It's just math. But, sh- but it doesn't annoy me. Easy for you to say, you're Mensa. Yeah, yeah. I um, was in the special set, mate. They put me in a separate building. But in the my lower school, levels, my the school, remedials. No, no, bro, my school had math, a maths block. Yeah. And the classrooms were M1 sure. to M5, right? From like best to worst, right? M5 being the worst. Yeah. Guess which one I was in? It's a trick question. I was in a separate building called <laughs> M0. And I was in that room with genuinely some of the most fuck diddle idiots, <laughs> including myself, <laughs> that have ever traipsed upon that school. Fuck's and we, we <laughs> it was chaos. Yeah. What sort of school system thinks I'll get all of the worst behaved, stupidest kids and put them in one room with like the most inexperienced 23 year old Cambridge grad as their teacher. That's, that's ridiculous. That's the fucking same thing as like the prison system of the UK. It's like, you know what? we'll just lock them all together. It and then when they get released inevitably, they'll be fine. I definitely got worse in behavior from being in that class. Of course, there's no rehabilitation at all. There's, do you know what I mean? Like you should, I think I'm always of the opinion that schools should be thinking about their, what their pass rates are like publicly I don't think it should be public I think that if you've got you should have a very class of level, le- varied levels of intelligence that way that they all learn you, it's it's bullshit that a school would be like well we'll put the ones that really are good in this in one class mm. and then the, the will when we get exams come up and we we get r- school ratings we'll be like well we're a really good school because you know these guys these guys yeah are, but it's like it's bullshit imagine if you were one of the bright kids like i was really good at sport and yeah. i always i'd be very annoyed if like the shit cricketers came in the fucking first team i was like you need to yeah. fuck on out of here mate you'd be annoyed but you if know you can't you'd... bowl line a length genuinely get out of this net this is this net's for champions only yeah but you'd be and that would be me in their in their maths class being like why do we have this fuck diddle in next <laughs> can't do anything you can't count yeah, but Matt, that's <laughs> that system you're describing. That is not communism. Is it not? No, communism is you know. Uh, do I want communism? Everyone, Who I don't. Communism? I don't. I don't really want communism. I don't fully understand what communism is. I'll, I'll explain it I to you right now. I like the thing, the way things I'll, are now. I'll explain it right now. What communism is? Just if you and I, Sadiq Khan, putting you know, making everything twenty miles an hour. Okay, I'll explain to what communism is. If you, me, and like five other people lived on an island, yeah. A desert island, we'd yeah. live a communist life. Why? Because we'd share everything. 
We'd share everything. We, yeah, we'd all have Not our own. If drink. I got the bread and I got then it's you know then I'd, I'd hand it out <laughs> accordingly. Yeah. I'd be the dictator. I guess, <laughs> but yeah. you'd be the yes. dictator. But the rest would be living in communism. But that's and that's the downfall <laughs> of communism, right? That's communism. Uh, okay. Socialism is different. Is that what we're doing now? No, we're doing capitalism. Oh, everyone yeah. says that's really bad. Well, I mean, it there's it has its upsides. Consumerist based in the in the any other it's the only one that's worked any other <laughs> any other like any other idea or 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 paradigm has not worked like if you look at like Cuba it doesn't didn't work did it <laughs> they socialist didn't work communist yeah didn't but work. now Cuba does have basically it's like going into a time warp if you go there it's quite cool yeah but they don't have food <laughs> but they're not no quite bad over there it's quite bad yeah they can't import because they've got uh, they got um, hit with a uh, Embargo. embargo. I was yeah. going to say embargo. Trade embargo. Um, so yeah, it didn't work. Right. It's North okay. Korea. It's basically, that is not going communist. well. Not, that going, is not well going well at all. And we can say pretty much whatever you like because I don't think this is going to go out there, is it? No, it's illegal to have a mullet. In is it really? Korea. How weird is that? That's not. I I can get involved with that. It's a bit weird, though, isn't it? My cousin has a mullet, I think, and he's and he told me to to my face that he won't that he doesn't listen or watch this, so it's fine. Um, he, he, he pulls it off. He pulls off the mullet. Not everyone can. You wouldn't. No, definitely not. You gonna shave your head? Probably. Yeah, and I've decided I'm going to now. I've, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got fed up to the back teeth. Yeah. Of having hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna wet razor it. That'd be no. That'd be all. very weird. Yes. That'd be very. That'd yeah. be. That's like get a little buzz on. Get a little buzz going. Do you know it's get weird that you on? haven't done it at this point in your life. I've done it three times. Um, mainly because uh, the. Uh, do you know what? Mainly because my, I'd have to get new headshots. Oh, and they're expensive, aren't they? That's the worst reason. Is your, it? Hair, your hair grows quicker than than you think, mate. Do you reckon? She eat a lot of greens. Just, just buzz it all off. All right. So the freedom behind it is amazing. Back to history. So back I was going to gonna discuss. Um, I was going to discuss Asian, culture. Asian Asian history. Where do we even begin? Well, th- this is where we we'll begin. I decided I'll dial it back and specify in uh, Japanese history. Okay. And that mean, let's, can I? I don't want to sound racist here. Go on. They're definitely the coolest. Korea is pretty good as well right now. Do, do you know what? I was going to ask you this. I, this and this is the last time I interrupt you. Go on. If you could be any other race, what would it be? Do you know what mine? Because I've thought about Go it for on. a while. I'd be a Korean dude. They are so They're cool, sick. Yeah. Do you know what? Apparently Seoul. Cheekbones galore. Oh, yeah. Like, they just oh, seem yeah. to put on bare muscle. Like, all the Korean dudes I knew at, at, at college were like fucking the sickest, like, kind of, like strong silent types. Yeah. Cool dudes. Cool dude. I'd, I'd be a I'd be a badass Korean dude. Korea is pretty fucking cool. Apparently Seoul is amazing. My yeah. mate my mate went yeah. to Seoul and he was like, I was like, what was it like? He was like, really good hip hop. Everyone's mad handsome. Amazing fried chicken. Yeah. And loads of babes. Yeah. I was like, that sounds amazing. That's, badass, That's those are the top three things, I think. Also, my favorite character in Lost, uh, Jin. Yeah. Was a badass Korean dude. He badass shit out of Korean people. dude. He also he could also fish, and he was like really hot. He's like caring. Yeah, of respect. Have you seen um the physical one hundred on Netflix? It's it's garbage oh. TV, but they're all jacked Koreans. The the hundred physical one hundred, yeah. Oh no, not the physical one hundred, just the hundred which started on Channel Five. That was dross. Get, that tell was me dross. about Asian culture, Harvey. Tell me about so, Japanese culture. <laughs> so Japanese culture, I dial it in. Um, specify Japanese. The reason being, I've always had a bit of a fascination with Japanese culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, the reason it's fascinating. The the reason I think um. For that is number one. Um, that when I was a kid, they made loads of really good video games. Number two, samurai. samurai. Bad. Number three, ninjas. Yeah. Do you know I mean they've they've got whoa, the best whoa, ones? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Are ninjas just Japanese? Just Japanese. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. then that closes the book on closes who's the, the coolest. Book. Exactly. Fucking um, Japanese. Obviously. But beyond that, I think what's really fascinating to me about Japan is there's a lot of similarities with England and Japan, island nation. Um, okay. Very disciplined. Um, Keep calm, on, carry on. On, on, on a system, but basically, so like for instance, you know, um, they had samurai, which is like the warrior caste, uh, mm. and we had knights. Oh, yeah. They oper- we operated a, a code of chivalry. They operated a code of bushido. Similar thing. Okay. Um, they also a very very disciplined race, um, and I feel that we. I mean, we had that up until sort of the Victorian era with the you know the British stiff upper lip. Less so now. Um, it still sort of lives on in, in in Japan, but I think they're a very fascinating country. Well, I've seen, I've watched footage of the, of of Japan online, mm. where it says like it's like a crowded tube station, 
Mm. And it's saying up this way, down this way. Not one person goes up the wrong way. No, yeah. It's, Everyone goes up the right way and, 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 yeah. and waits. It's brilliant. There's, it's well, it's brilliant. There's there's downsides to it. I mean, there's a there's a massive work culture in in and they Japan. don't and they just drink to oblivion and then <laughs> and then sleep on sleep on their suitcases. That, seen, that's I've yeah, seen loads of things you, of that. I don't know how true it is. Do you follow? Uh, there's an um, Instagram called, uh, account called Shibuya Meltdown, which is basically the, no, that, those sort of that people. Yeah, sad. it's quite sad. But I think that made me sad. You shouldn't follow sad. that man. Um, it's quite funny at times because there's me meltdowns. <laughs> and I love a meltdown. I will allow myself to watch road rage videos. Yeah. It's sort of a little bit of that as well. But a lot of the trains and on the tubes and the Japan. It's it, okay. Just follow it. You'll enjoy it. Um, where was I? Um, so, the, yeah, the, the, the downside to that disciplined culture in Japan yeah. is they have, they have a, uh, like a really, really hard working culture. Yeah. The downside to that is a lot of them will work their ass off and they, they're, they're called Japanese salary men which basically means you just join a company you work there from the age of 20 to the age of 60 and you retire and then you die or 70 and you die and there's no so which is primarily why if you look at um, a lot of Japanese media they prioritise youth in a lot of their stories a lot of their anime it's like young love young protagonists and they they, they love that it, it's, 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 it's embedded in, within the culture but to take you back to the beginning. Mm. Um, I'm just going to play a bit of this board. I'm turn it upside down because I want I need a bit more space. Okay. So Japan yeah. used to be, yeah. a long time ago, connected to Korea. So this is Korea. Imagine this Korea yeah. and this is Japan. Yeah. He's By not a it, land. He's not even doing it to camera. It's no. amazing what he's doing right now. He's just, well, I'm doing he, it. He faced, he faced the board to me away from the lens. <laughs> Look, listen, watchers, listeners. This isn't for you. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, so Korea, Japan it used to yeah. be connected by a land bridge. Yep. And people walked across the land bridge to get to Japan. Yep. And that's how the people of Japan started. Yep. They had a female leader, I think called Hinako. Um, you can't, you can't fact check me there. Um, and it was a female country. This is I'm talking about the year like 500. Sure. Um, and eventually. They became, um, they, 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 they did a lot of poetry, a lot of art, peaceful nation. And then they started to war. They warred with China. They warred with Korea. Um, the land bridge disappeared. Yeah. And they developed uh, um, the leader, uh, like, like a royal family, an emperor, yep. an emperor of Japan, and he ruled. Yeah. And then, um, because Japan was split into different regions, three different islands, the people of Japan... Um, but started to they were like, roaming bandits and all that sort of thing so they would they would protect themselves the way they would protect themselves is they would hire samurai into their retinue and the samurai were basically knights yes but with were. with the big katana with the sword with the, all that shit um famously tom cruise was the last of them the last samurai yep. yeah yeah that's yeah fine. yeah do you know that's actually based on a real person uh called william adams holy shit he was, a, he was an english <laughs> sailor um on a dutch uh, merchant vessel and they've actually based Shogun on that but they still haven't called him William Adams they've called him something else um, poor in, William in Adams not getting his fucking flowers yeah, this no. is bullshit but then William Adams became he did some fascinating things in Japan and became a samurai the fuck uh, as, 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 a white, as a white then? as a white person I don't know I don't know why they changed the name but, but the, the book that Shogun the TV show is based off a book from 1975 by a guy called James Clavell and he changed the name I don't for whatever reason but the wow. book's meant to be really really good okay. so I'm, I'm watching the show at the moment I'm fucking loving it to be honest yeah I'm fucking loving it I'm going to start watching it you'd love we it we were also reminded by a couple of listeners last week that we should say spoiler alert before we talk about because uh, one of the listeners in particular got quite anxious oh really about what we were going to be talking about what were like, we talking about I can't remember because obviously we don't take notes but I mean whatever it I'm was not going to take notes not Matt take notes. I'm going to start taking notes I'm not going to take notes I'm going to take notes <laughs> but he got quite anxious about it so we should um, just you know before you say things spoiler alert yeah this isn't going to spoil anything. This isn't going to spoil anything because yeah, exactly. this is history. No, yeah, I think you were talking about Shogun. Oh, okay, yeah, fine, yeah. fine. Well, I haven't watched all of Shogun. Yeah, history, there's no spoiler. It's brother's already happened. Exactly. You know I mean? Tune in. Uh, Tune in. Um, so where was I? Um, they hired samurai into retinue. The samurai were fascinating in that they were this massively, um, incredibly elite fighting um, force of, of warriors, but they operated... Um, by this honor system, this honor code, um, fiercely, this honor code, like, that they would 
they would they wouldn't do anything underhand. They wouldn't fight um, in any way that wasn't ungentleman. Kind of in the same way, you know, in in the UK we had like it, it seems silly now, but wars were fought by lining up, facing each other, aiming, that and taking it in turns. That insane. it's insane, right? It's yeah. bizarre it's and and like and they dueling, like fucking Napoleon, dueling, like. Yeah. Okay, One, five two, steps. three, turn and shoot. Are you joking? I'm going to kill you now because I, I want to get oh, out of here. Oh. I've got things to do, bruv. Do you know what I mean? I know, I'm not... I know. So yeah, know. so so um, the samurai operated by a similar code called the Code of, of Bushido, the Bushido Code. Right. As detailed in the Hagakure, which is which I've got here by Yamamoto Sintomo. I... That book has been in this room since I sat down. I've been wondering what the hell that was. Did you bring that I brought it. You? I brought it. It's a copy. It's my copy. Um, and it's... It contains basically the code of the Bushido and a lot of little things to live by, Matt. Okay. Um, and one of which, um, I've said it many, many times. You would have heard me say it. Okay. Uh, you would have heard me say it. You know, I always say, how I always say, the way of the samurai is one of immediacy. You must rush in head first. You know, I always say that all the time, you know? It, it is something that you have um, said before. That's, yeah. And that's something that I, I you know... That's something that I've well, said it a thousand you, times. You don't hang about, actually, with stuff. You do, you sort of do get on with it quite quickly. The, the way of the samurai is one of immediacy, man. Yeah, I've also liked the way that you take your thoughts and depression and just lock yourself in a room and just hunker the thoughts down for yourself and don't share them with anyone until it's passed. Exactly. That's something you do quite well. I do. I nail that. Um, another one. So that, Another one that you, you're like this. Yeah. The talented rise to the challenge. Because of, that's... The talented rise to the challenge. Yeah, the talented. You know what? Spot that on. That does resonate with me a lot. Yeah. Uh, when I joined my cricket team, when I rejoined my cricket team, mm. um, I didn't know myself to be a big moment player yeah. until I just sort of said, they were like, right, it's the last fucking ball. Someone's got to hit a six for us to win to get 12 points because mm -hmm. of the rules. And I then and then decided I am the guy. Yeah. And I did it. And then right. I did it again in another game. So That's then I, before right. you know it, I was like, right, I'm the big game player. Yeah. Can I can I be honest with you? I'm fucking terrified the entire time. Of course. I never Rose know that I'm going to do anything good. To the challenge. But you're right to the challenge. Also, if you do anything twice, then everyone's just waiting for the third time. Another another one that I actually love is um, in all things the ending is crucial, and someone actually quoted that back to me because in all I was things gonna... the ending is crucial. Yeah. Isn't that just a line from the Secret Window when Johnny Depp goes, "Well, the only thing that really matters is the ending." This is the Hagakure, though. Yeah. No. Okay. So See the this difference. Is, this I've, I've, in... I've, I've, I've now you've yeah of course Hagakure, Johnny Depp, Secret Window, very different things. Yeah. Bushido Code was written <clears> not possible 16... that one was influenced by the other. 1659. Which came first? 1659 <laughs> not secret window by jonathan depp good film good film johnny well executed w lovely hair probably as well. his best hair probably his best, best hair. his best hair combo that is yeah. the, the glasses hair, hair is the best look yeah um but what i like about the ending is all in 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 all things <clears throat> the ending is crucial or the ending is important in all things is the way that they said it to me is i was trying to break up with someone you were trying to break up a long with time them. ago yeah and i said i was just gonna text them yeah that's such a you move man why would you have them there? Fucking coward. I know, but then my friend who was with me said, the ending is crucial in all things, the Hagakure. And I went, that's right. Yeah. Send them a letter instead. Send them a letter. Yeah, so I just wrote a hand. No, I, didn't. I, I, I met them. And it was painful and brutal. And they were like, why didn't you text me? And I was like, because of the Hagakure. <laughs> because of the Hagakure. Why didn't you just fuck? Don't you freak? Yeah. <laughs> why, are you, why are you clutching this Can book? Because they won't know. Where were you living at the time? Was it just so I know who roughly who it was? Oh, uh, I was at home. Oh, Jesus. You know. Crumsy crikey. Crumsy crikey. Yeah. It was bad. It very was very bad, actually. Tr Trixie wickets. It there. was very, very crikey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very tricky. Um, so, yeah, the the, 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 the Hagakure. Nice. Well, I mean, you, you didn't write it, so stop plugging it. Do you know what I mean? Stop it's plugging not, it. It's, uh, okay. it's important. Talking about... You done? I'm, well, I was going to go on. So, just a little interview, in, interlude. Go on, yeah. Just because just it's good to break things up a little bit. It is nice, yeah. that was very interesting. You like that? Um, Harvey and I were asked to go on someone else's podcast this week. Oh, shit. We haven't even talked about it. And I thought if I didn't mention it right now, I'd forget about it. And yeah, it is yeah. important. It's back important. on, crack on, crack on. Um, what are they called again? It doesn't matter what they're called. It doesn't matter. Two chaps were, they've got a fledgling little podcast going on. They're really, the wolf is at the door and they're just, they don't know what the fuck. They didn't know where else to turn. They're thinking, why, how can I reach these kids? You know, how do I get them? And so they, um, they came right to the bottom of the barrel. They went through all, everyone else, all the sludge, all the grudge. And they landed on us uh, and Harvey, of course. Yeah, 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 um, yeah of course. <laughs> uh, no, they're called they're called Pulp Kitchen. Pulp Kitchen, and uh, they do. Uh, I think it's they do film reviews. Basically, they're is film. It, they're film gone. Is that because it sounds a bit like Pulp Fiction? Well, that's what I would assume. Yeah, and I've only actually 
re- it doesn't really sound too much like pulp. Doesn't sound, it doesn't sound like it enough. It doesn't, does it? For you to make, but pulp and pulp, if you're a film pop cult, that pulp works. Um, they're two nice guys, and they yeah. asked us um, some questions um, that, that we sort of gave our opinion on film on, and that will be coming out. Um, in the next little bit, probably. So keep keep a keen eyed among you on the socials for that. Um, they were nice lads. I had a good afternoon. I had a well. We did it in the morning, so we had yeah. a good afternoon because we went drinking. That's we, what we had uh, yeah, afternoon. that's right. Yeah, <laughs> we actually yeah, yeah. met them at nine in the morning. But. We did. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, <laughs> but it was a good afternoon. We actually, I enjoyed the afternoon a lot. I really liked that afternoon. Had a little burger. Had some. Had some pints. That was my favorite. Yeah, um, yeah. Went to. Um, what, had a Guinness? Went to Devonshire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that yeah, was good. Yeah. I'd review that. I would say a solid 7.5 out of 10. I'd give the Devonshire an 8 out of 10. Would you? Yeah, 10 doesn't exist, obviously. Of course not. 9 is basically doesn't exist either. 9, you're looking at sort of 2016, the Westbourne. 2017, the Westbourne in Notting Hill. Yeah. At its absolute peak in, in yep. around May time. It was just different gravy then. It really did. 2008, was... Holy Arms? Ne- see, that before my time. Before my was time, the, I think you would have. You would have. No, nah, I was in there. sixth form. I, so I was at I was at house parties out in like Barnet and Mill Hill. And did you not go out in Camden though? I presume yeah, I went out in Camden, but not at the Holy Arms. The Holy Arms was for no offense, but like bearded old people. Yeah, like <laughs> you you would have got in. You were still young, but you would have yeah. got in and been among leather jackets. Bit, exactly. Yeah, whereas yeah. I was um, <clears throat> I was hanging out at like the Misty Moon, and that that turned to the Monarch. And then oh, yes, Bar Bar Talk, which then turned to Joe's, Joe's, to Joe's yeah, yeah. and then Joe's. So. Um, that's chalk where Farman. chalk. For, I was more chalk for him. Never really got uh, proud when proud was proud. Proud was proud at one point, and, that, and then proud just became utter, Shite utter, house. utter shit, Shite utter house. shit. And it's such a shame because proud was fucking wicked. Uh, when it was, uh, I remember going there a lot when I was, <clears throat> I guess, like 18, 19, 20, uh, and loving it. And then uh, I remember one day. I went to a mate's house and they had Madey Chelsea on and it was just they were in they were in Proud. No, yeah, they were no, they weren't in Proud. They were in um they were in Barfly. Oh, were they in Barfly? They, they were in the new the new version of Bar. They 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 the place they that's now called the Camden Assembly. Oh, they were in there and they made it look it, it was yeah that was um that was a real moment for me as well. That was when I watched Maiden Chelsea. To be fair, yeah. And I think the one negative thing about Camden in those days is that anyone who'd ever had a drink in Camden were were like I own this place. This is my place. Yeah, that's true. And uh, they, but that's just the that's the idiocy of youth. That everyone drinks <laughs> about themselves. Yeah, yeah uh, but you you were there. I was there in a world that had finished before I got there, and it was on the glowing ambers of Amy Winehouse, Pete Doherty, and all those guys. This geezer, you actually had a drink with Amy Winehouse at which yeah, one was it? the Hawley. The Hawley, yeah. Um, so you were there, right? Probably in the absolute peak of it. Genuinely, yeah. Of it. I, remember, I remember. Although I was there when I watched, you know, the band Tribes. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I was there when they performed, you know, opposite All Saints on the bridge. Yeah. They performed on the roof. Yeah, yeah. I was there. That's for cool. That. that was quite cool. Did they, did the few bands um, perform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a thing. It was on the roof. And they didn't ask permission. They always got shut down. Fair. It's a little bit Beatles esque, but, uh, but uh, that that year is dead now, isn't it? Dude, can't AI AI now. music's destroying all music. I, I've 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 realised. Really? Yeah. My um my friend is a producer, Matt. He produced the music for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he. I saw him um, on the weekend and he was like, yeah, man, AR, AI music, like just auto-generated music, will be filling most of people's like playlists and stuff in the future. It's nearly, it's, he sent me a, a, like an example track and it's so depressing. But didn't, I mean, couldn't you argue that like when T-Pain came out with auto-tune, I was like, well, that's the, no one needs to sing anymore. <laughs> Sort of, but it's still. I mean, they. I mean, everything's auto tuned to fuck now to the point that I'm seeing stuff on uh, on like social media, and it'll be like P- Michael Jackson, and the caption will be like Michael Jackson performing without auto tune. It's like, yeah, of course, it's oh. Michael fucking Jackson. But it's like a novelty now that people don't have auto tune. But my, my my whole thing with AI is you can't. It's out of the box now. You're never going to put it back in. It's only going to get better and better. And people will just yeah, there'll be two uh, channels. Do you, know, do you know what it is? I actually can I can I I, I disagree with you. Go on. On a sensible, for a sensible reason. I disagree with you because, and it's a, it's a point, uh, listen, all we do on this podcast is stand on the shoulders of the people that came before us uh, with more knowledge. So in this case, there's a direct, it's a scientist telling this. Yeah. Self-driverless cars, right? It's been around for a very, very, very long time. Yeah. Ain't nobody trusting it. That's for cognitive bias reasons though. Because no, it's your not, life it's is not, in your hands. It, it, no, but the same same sort of concepts. It's ninety nine point nine 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 percent perfect, mm. but it can't it can't quite one hundred percent do it. Right, you just can't trust it. Same thing with creativity. Like, fine, yeah, an AI can do lots and lots and lots of stuff. It can't do 
I know AI, like Jesse Armstrong, I may have repeated this point in this podcast before, Jesse Armstrong, yeah. the writer of all those shows, Succession and people. Yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. He said, no, I'm not saying it, I'm explaining it to them in case they don't. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but they, they, um, he was like, I asked the top AI thing, tell me some jokes about this thing. I put in a lot, I put yeah. in, because uh, <clears throat> basically my friend works in, in, in music, Charlie, um, and he, he produces uh, bands for, for a job, basically. Yeah, I was going yeah. to list them, but I can't bother. Um, and um, you have to put, the more detail you put into these machines, yeah. the better the detail comes out, yeah. right? So Jesse Armstrong put in a lot of detail and he was like, I was yet to see anything that made me scared. Yeah, but because that's the level that's of comedy. is the self driverless cars, which they're never going to get to. That's but that's but that okay. So the difference with there is that's comedy, and it's also the the um, the AI for for generating sort of comedy. You saw? Did you see? There was an AI that they generated an episode of South Park, and it was rubbish because was you, you can't you can't. There's nothing clever enough AI wise that can write an episode of South Park. It's genius. It's, so it's what sapper. music are you afraid it's going to take over? Oh, it'll it'll <clears throat> take over the. It already has in some some aspects, like sort of the lo-fi, like lyricless um, beats and stuff like that. It will replace. Fine. Is it? Yeah. Is it fine? Yeah, because I could do that. I just choose not to. But what I'm saying is, uh, what 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 will happen is oh, this no, is now. This is now. on his way out, and this is now. I, I'm saying I think in. Ten years time, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be looking at a very different thing. It's only going to get better, and that in itself is pretty terrifying. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, I think I think there's always going to be a market for real stuff, of course. But it would just be different. There'll be two markets. There'll be one for real stuff, and then the AI will take care of everything. Do you know else. what's just going to keep on fucking surviving? What fucking art world, man? Yeah, of course. That ain't yeah, going nowhere. Yeah, but it's niche. Yeah, it is niche. <clears throat> that is. Um, that is a crazy. Oh, is it like you're talking like like fine art and sculpture? <clears throat> yeah, just all of it. Just the whole infrastructure of the art world is just 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 just, uh, just above the law. It's just ridiculous. But it, it's yeah, just, it's, it's super it's super niche. Like you either have yeah. to be a massive enthusiast or very wealthy. Yeah, I guess I, you have to be wealthy. I mean, can you be? In, can you do it without being wealthy? Yeah, yeah, of course you could. Of yeah. course, um, but it's like being an act, doing doing what we do for jobs. Yeah, it would be a lot easier if we were wealthy. Oh yeah, of course. Because then you just wouldn't have to do all the stupid other shit that we do to make to get here to do this today. Yeah, yeah, it would be. And nice. instead, can I tell you the reason why we don't edit the show was not an, any arrogance or that we think we're so clever. That it's just a time thing because yeah. we booked the studio for an hour and so we used the hour. Whereas everybody else has to book the studio for two or three hours no, they and then go down. right. Let's talk about this for this pun. Okay, break. Let's talk about this for this thing. Break. So what yeah. we do instead is stay up and on. For the entire hour, yeah, and then just put out there, and I I clip things for TikTok and Harvey puts it onto YouTube. That's the reason that we do it, like yeah. in the format that we do it. And it's something that it's we, a money saving thing. And it's something that we we sort of, we used to. It's how we write. It's, it's how we. It's how we used to hot desk and write our TV show. The truth doesn't rhyme, which is the email address that you send it to. Yeah, that is subliminal messaging, by the way. Okay. That's something that I've read into quite a few times by a man called Darren. Darren Browns. Oh, he's and coming up. What Darren Browns does is he uses mind manipulation to make you buy his products. Um, and I love Darren Browns. I um, buy all his products. I buy all his products. So we're trying to make you buy our products by sending in your emails to The Truth Doesn't Rhyme, which is the name of our TV show. And even when Hulu come and say to us, well, we think that name's a bit shit. We say, you, we think you're a bit shit, Hulu. Hulu? What kind of a name is Hulu? What a fucking name is Hulu? How dare they actually? How dare you? I'm glad we walked out. Yeah. You shouldn't have smashed the vase. <laughs> I, look, I, 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 there's not a day that goes by that I, I, I don't think about it. Yeah. But, um, no regrets, no regrets. Keep going. There, there's other, there's, mate, there's other, there's other, what, what there were two streamers? vases. There were two vases. Yeah, so they had yeah. one left. Yeah. You know, they, yeah, and they did explain that they were priceless and they were a matching pair. But, but they shouldn't keep them so high up on the. Do you know what I mean? They shouldn't be what, on a hand display. Level, a hand level. They should be the bad news room where they go. Where, where should we deliver the bad news to? to people? Next to those two where, Ming where, vases. Where should, we, where should we tell those incredibly volatile people that, that we need to change the name of their show next to the vases? Don't do that. That's on them. That's not on. That's on them. And Netflix, no vases, nothing. They also don't, they also don't commission anything they any didn't good. So like, we, didn't, we didn't even try and sell it to them. They didn't they didn't, they didn't like try and sell it to them. And we and we tried to sell it to Disney. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. On that note, go on. We've got a bit of fan mail. I say fan mail at last. It's sort of don't 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 put. It's that. sort of the agony aunt bit. Okay, but it's sort of fan mail as well. Okay, okay. First one. Yeah. You ready? 
Ja, ah, yeah. Um Lack, okay, the t- they've titled this email. It's quite confusing, I'll be honest. Um, bless them. Lack of focus, brackets, ED, focused excitement. Lack of focused excitement. Okay. It's not very clever, no. unfortunately. Um, so look, um, just think about it next time. Um, hi, Matt and Harvey. Um, glad you guys took a good break and are back, exclamation mark. You didn't tell us to stay out of, out of your fucking way this time. So I figured I could hit you up. Oh, that's a really good point. That's a good point. We should, yeah. We should. Uh, do you know what I mean? We should. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not yeah, going to stop. There's more. No, nor should you. Nor I'm not should gonna you going to stop telling yeah, people to. Yeah. Um, excited for history three. Y'all. I'm guessing they're American. No one says y'all. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Y'all. Get to the end. Try and get to the end of it. Though. Y'all are funny and insightful. Matt's probably saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Try and get to the end of it. Genuinely. Fuck off. Uh, genuinely. Yeah. So I'll be brief. Oh my God. Recently joined you on the employment line, Harvey. <clears throat> Welcome. Welcome to the winner circle. Get to the end of this fucking question. Any advice from you guys on how to stay motivated yeah. whilst job hunting? Loads of, loads of ways. Loads of, well, go on. St- okay. Yeah. Um, how do you, okay. So increase all of your outgoings to crazy extents. Yes. Like, just, be, just sign up to... Any guy who stops you in the street, sign up to that charity. Oh, yeah. Any streaming service, sign up to it. Get the get the deluxe version of anything you're Everything. doing. Put the pressure on Live yourself. Live beyond your means. Get, get it, that fear going. It will the, light a fire under your ass. Like the beacons upon the hills in the Lord of the Rings it's bit. It's a signal fire. That is what you need to do. Really get that get that fear. Get, you leave your car running all night, every night. Get that petrol out of it. Refill daily. Uh, oh, so that when... Go on. I've got a good one. Um, get really, really addicted to something. That will uh, help. I'm talking crippling addiction. I'm talking you can't close your eyes without seeing the thing that you're addicted Doesn't to. Doesn't even need to be illegal. Toblerone. Expensive chocolate. Expensive. Pereira Rocher. Yeah. Yeah. Get really, make sure that you need it. And then that way, that will be your impetus to um, not even, that's your motivation. Fucking fear, baby. Because honestly, swear to God, fear will make you do shit that you didn't know you were capable of doing. The ambassador eats Ferrero Rocher. You know? And he's got a bit of money floating about. He's an ambassador. So what be, is an ambassador for? That would be my advice on staying motivated. What yeah. would yours be, Harvey? I would, yeah, I would say, um, yeah, just uh, watch um, watch motivational videos on YouTube. That always helps. Uh, what you want is a guy in sort of a string vest, yeah, yeah, quite muscular, yeah, 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 yeah. working out in like an old gym, and with just like a like Eye of the Tiger over yep. the top of it. Listen to Eye of the Tiger. Have that on loop. Have that on loop. Have at that all on times, loop ready. Whilst play. being addicted to um, whatever it is you're going to be addicted to, maybe. Um, Maybe don't get addicted to unemployment. If you're going to get addicted to something, get addicted to um, something that makes you uncomfortable. Um, yeah. As I said, Matt, Matt said, Toblerone, it, it is quite uncomfortable to eat. Difficult to eat. Um, you got to get stuck everywhere. That's dentist bills. Get your get your outgoings up. Get your outgoings up. So, so make sure you've really, got to get the job. You've got your redlining. You're redlining um, it. You and know? everyone knows there's nothing uh, there's nothing more sexy than desperation. Next, exactly. next question, please, Harvey. Next question. That's asked and answered. That's sold. Be grateful and move on. Next that's, question. That's next, Nick, next, Nick, next question, please. Nick Hill. Next question, well please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next question, please. Harvey. Um, dear Matt and Harvey, uh, I've been having issues with my boyfriend. Okay. Um, he doesn't pull his weight around the house. Okay. Despite me asking many, many times. Okay. What can I do? Um, cheers, uh, Lucy. You want um, to take the lead on this one? Yep, uh, two words, extreme violence. <laughs> um, get up in his grill. Get up in his grill. Uh, if he's saying no, say, what did you say to me? And get in his face and maybe hold a stick or something like that. Um, d- don't take his no for an answer just in the same way that he doesn't take your yes mm. for an answer. Um, come at him with an iron stick, um, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. Um, don't let him wear the trousers. You must always wear the, the trousers. Very good. And just to snowball what's up with that. Go on. <laughs> any, any mess that you've asked him to tidy up, like, yeah, can you fix this? Yeah. And he hasn't done it. <laughs> just <laughs> double it every time. Just double it. So you get there. Oh, just can it. you fix that? The door that's broken. It's not fixed. Break it more. Break another door. If oh, anything. the washing isn't done. 
put more washing on. Yeah. Oh, the, the dishwasher's disgusting. Make it more disgusting. Make it disgusting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make so, it evil. And then and then you just be like, just fucking why should I? Well, also, uh, the danger there, the danger there is they are, she's probably going to be living in a cesspit uh, by the end of the week. High risk, high reward, man. But it is high reward. Are the, the, your, your two, your, your other Hail Mary here is, is obviously just leave them. Because like I said, nothing motivates more than fear. Exactly, exactly. And living beyond your means. If you leave him, I presume that the uh, the household income will split in half. I imagine your rent is probably like half, you're paying half each most I'm likely. I'm just going to go out on the limb here and assume she's paying more than him. Yeah, kick him out then, in that case. Do you know what I mean? Um, live out. in a constant state of fear. My serious my serious advice for this would be <clears throat> um, to say the phrase, um, why, why should anyone else have to do it? That phrase, my mother said that to me when I was very, very young and it imprinted, and um, it's horrible. Yeah. What if he if he says um, if you say to him, "Can you do this?" and he says, "What did your last slave die of?" Say of an iron fist being put put through their face when they gave me a bit of lip. Thank you, Harvey. Next question. Next question. Um, dear <laughs> Matt and Harvey, <laughs> how do you remain humble? Whenever anything good happens to me, I have an urge to shout about it and tell people. But you seem to remain classy about the various successes that you have. And then in brackets, they've put, uh, and I know there are many, I've done my research. Details important. Um, <clears throat> please help me with this problem. And that's from Francis, uh, Francis in Liverpool. Francis, when I have any real success, um, believe me, there's, there ain't no one who's not going to know about it. Exactly. Well, yeah. Everything that I've done in my life up until this point, I don't deem to be good. Do you know what I do? Go on. What I do is... You fucking I, tell everyone about it. I have a podcast, right? And, and what I do is, when I'm on the podcast, I write in letters from other people um, about what I want to talk about. And that way, when I read them out, it looks like I'm not, read, I'm not talking about them. But secretly, it is me talking about it. So, like, that's how you get around it. It's a trick, really. It's, and then no one knows unless, you know, you talk about it on a podcast the same so it's not me boasting do you know what I mean I don't I'm not a big head as we've discussed yeah I like to I'll I'll, I'll write in as like Jeffrey yeah do you know what I mean and then Harvey's one of the most untapped people I've ever met <laughs> <laughs> um so that's that's how you do it also um yeah um if you want to boast just boast mate there's no shame anymore I people think, have cancelled shame I think, I, th I, think at, I think at this point they know that he's not a real person man oh that that, that the person that the letter was yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just saying what I do normally yeah. I'll tell if do you know what here's the thing go on if I've written a letter you'll know no no I don't 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 start telling people that you which letters are real and which ones are fake I'm not going to now I'm I, I'm people people no, watching no, this right now figure it out they will never figure it out because <laughs> I can't I don't know because you don't know where God, I, I I never know which ones they are <laughs> and I never ask you know what I never ask you don't after the show know. and the thing is it's because I don't care print the myth exactly. if something's if something's entertained me. Then, yeah. To be honest with you, because I don't, Harvey's the only one that tracks any of the analytics. If I can just shock you, I don't really care about the analytics. Data. I, it doesn't matter who's listening to this. So, uh, for all I know, <laughs> this isn't even recording. For all, for all <laughs> I know, <laughs> this is just to to just to fucking literally know. We haven't actually got a podcast. And then, and Harvey just takes all this stuff and like and just, and just, and just Truman shows me and just puts it to a little database <laughs> and they'll go, they go, oh, little old Matt, he really is losing his fucking <laughs> mind. <laughs> And I'm just getting crazier and crazier and crazier as I think that my my sphere of influence is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I, it, it's just insane, my paranoia to that. Next question, please, Harvey. Um, I would just want to add, just on the end of that, um, add, no, no, it, it, I, I, you're allowed to boast now because boasting's fine. Shame has been cancelled. You can't. You like if you do you know if there's something good in your life, share it. Probably boast about it because everyone's like, yeah, you go, girl. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, if like if you if you want to um, get your ass out. Do it. Do it. If you want to get um, you want. your rig out, you've got abs and rig, get it out. Do People love that. Whatever you want. Um, if you want to, you know, do it, shame doesn't matter. There is no shame anymore. What I will say is, I, I mean, yeah, the boasting, boasting is, uh, it's a tricky one because you've got to back yourself. No one's going to fucking, no one's going to. And um, what I've noticed is that no one, I've got people on the internet who I've never met who support me more than my closest friends support me it's true me too i would say to be honest with you and that i mean i know that's it's not linked to boasting but it, there's a there's, i genuinely have one i think there's two people in my real life mm. who 
are as supportive as like and I think I'm a fucking supportive person. I think I think I, reci- yeah. I think I reciprocate it very well back to people. And you know, people don't people don't. But I also saw a thing recently, and this is not saying I, th- I pe- people don't really. Um, you do tend to support people who you feel a bit more sorry for, I guess. And maybe people not supporting me means they don't feel sorry for me, and that's what I don't want. Yeah, I would never want. Maybe next question, please, Harvey. Next question. Um, last question. Thank God. Um, dear Matt and Harvey, how can I up my street cred? Uh. You were both street smart and your reputation speaks for itself in the end. How do I build on mine? And that's from Cuthbert. Firstly, change your name. Get rid of that. Get rid of... You that's can't imme- look. That's immediately holding you back. That's... You can- yeah. Look, you want to you wanna be an... El- there wants to be. There needs to be an element of danger. Definitely. The only way you can get away with a name like Cuthbert is if you have a lot of facial scars. Yep. And a knife in your hand yep. at all times. Clutch. So you say I'm street White smart. White knuckling it. I mean, I, I, I almost got my Vespa stolen an hour ago but the point is you didn't because you're street smart that's a fucking good point mate. that's the point do you know what I mean you 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 have not had anything you're not walking around hackney blind getting mugged and like you you're not turning up here like do you know what i haven't got my wallet actually on me. To, to be honest with you the thing is what and this is what non-londoners don't understand i am on all the fucking you have time. to be no i was in like as in i am never not the, i am never i i, I hold when i'm changing my phone I am gripping my phone. Yeah, same. I grip my phone. I just, I don't just hold. My, the amount of people, and there's a part of me that goes like, when they get their phone stolen out of their hands, I'm a bit like, well, fucking pay attention, bro. Yeah, you're just it's like the jungle out here. Your mind is like looking, are trying yeah. to always do you harm. It's like when I drive around Vespa, the way I stay alive, please God, is I think everyone at all points is trying to hit you me with me. their yeah, car. Yeah. They're trying to actively hit me with their. That's car. how I drive, bro. That's, that's how, how that's how you car. need to stay alive, basically. Um. Street smarts is just paranoia keeps you alive, man. It does. I'm the most yeah. fucking paranoid person in the world when it comes to my like my health. mind and my, <laughs> yeah. and my my health, my yeah. my well being, and the, you like, be. the people that are close to me, their well being. Like it's why I don't understand people who like just take pills and fucking do gear. I I I I you, out I used to drink a lot, and I used, I've partied, and I've done it all, but I've never taken drugs. And I'm yeah, not saying that's on my high horse. I'm actually quite envious of people who have taken drugs yeah. and are able to do it to an extent that they're not afraid of dying and all the rest of it. Yeah. I just never, ever have. I smoked a bit of weed and I got super paranoid when I was like 15, 16 years old. Mm. Then I had to stop. And now I like the occasional gummy if I'm in LA, but I don't have them over here. Yeah. So it's like, but I don't, I've never understood people who just like rack up fucking lines of God knows what. Sure. At well, you, you're just trusting. Party. You're just, you're just trusting. trusting. That they're not going to poison you. Yeah, but bro, I, I, I don't. I, I simply don't understand it. And like I said, I, I'm, I'm envious of people that are able to do it. Sure. Because it looks like fun. Um. I. Yeah. I mean. I, I mean. I. I've, I used to get like really, really, really drunk in my twenties. Like, yeah. Like blackout. Yeah. I go out blackout. Yeah, same. Like, How course. fucking stupid and reckless was that? Yeah. Yeah, mate. I, so stupid. I don't remember years. I can't. I, don't I can't. Years, I, man. Like, I just. I don't drink like that. No, anymore. No. I just don't, I was like I, I don't want to lose. I don't want to be out of control or not yeah. even out of control. I just like to remember my night, man. Yeah, me too. I quite like to be like. And what I've realised now is it doesn't take very much for me to start getting a bit blurry. As in, like, if we change, if I, if I'm, if I'm on like a big night out, and nowadays it is more couples because people are married and all the rest yeah, of it. Yeah. But if we've changed location a few times, and it's like, like, we- like weddings. Yeah, <sighs> bro. Yeah, blacked out my own wedding. Yeah, the but last then again, everybody did. To be fair, the last the last <laughs> wedding was that I went to was was Chris's. Yeah, it was yeah. Quite, it was quite well, heavy. People, people keep a tap on but, it a little but bit. But it was, but obviously there was there's a family there and all that sort of thing, and we had a good time. But it was like mainly like it was just dancing and shit, and then like uh like I got to bed at like three a.m. Yeah, when was the last time it was been a broad wedding though? Because that's oh oh dude uh, Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, that was that was how much remember that? Not much. Yeah, it was pretty loose. Yeah, pretty loose. Yeah, that's pretty loose. Got um, in vogue Spain though. Uh, you did get in Vogue and you're wearing all black everything, all black everything yeah. which is so vibey yeah it's very very vibey for a broad wedding but no, it was fucking, fucking hot man, sick. That much. Um, yeah. we're at the end of this episode we've kept it's it been under, we've kept it under an hour it's amazing I can't believe um, that we did another another history episode we've done yeah. three that's I think and I, and I speak for um, I speak speaking as a qualified historian of course um, that when you do three history episodes that puts you in an upper echelon of historians, I think. Um, I think we're up there with Dan Jones. I think we're up there with Tony Robbins. I think we dress far Robinson. better than both of those people. 
Baldrick though. He doesn't. He's got that weird little medieval hat on all the time. Oh wait, not Dan Jones. Da- Dan, which, Dan Snow. Dan, Dan Snow. Dan Jones is pretty vibey. With tattoos. Yeah, he's got tattoos. Still, he still rocks that leather jacket though. Which I he's know, got mate. That that, it's got to go, Dan. 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 You must. You must now get a different one. Get one with the lapels. Those straight leather jackets. Yeah. That are like coming in and sitting at your hips. That's got to go, Dan. Yeah. God, um, just do you want to wrap up? Do you have anything to say? The ending is crucial in all things. Um, I don't have that much to say. A um, little bit of a shout out to Pulp Kitchen podcast, yes, because uh, it was genuinely good of them to have us on. Thank um, you and I really enjoyed it. it and naturally, fun. I went. I, I naturally went thinking I was going to hate it because my uh, I, I'm naturally very mistrusting of almost everyone in my life. Mm. Um, and uh, lovely guys, really good podcast, actually insightful stuff, and they get some great fucking guests on. Exactly. Um, well, they had us on. Yeah, Harvey. That's so. the. That's what. That's if you. And I bet everyone else would have got that. And yeah. you've just come in. You come. You came in negatively today because yeah. you, you said you were commissioned to do twenty episodes, and this is twenty first. And then twenty five. Whatever. And you finished. You finished negatively because you're undermining me at every occasion that you can. There is always room for improvement. We'll see you next week. See you next week.